And welcome to Thursday Super Fun. Awesome, happy time. Let's get all hippie and flower child and peace, love, and vegetables with a Benson preamp sort of kind of way with flowers on it and blue and blue. stuff. Pedal show. My name is Gabor. And stuff. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex. We're going to check out the pe preamp pedal from Benson today. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Ding the bell. Good stuff. Thanks. What he said. And I just want to mention right from the start, this is a not sponsored by Benson video because I bought this. Yep. With my own pesos. <laughs> no, with my own money. Um, I know it says includes paid promotion at the start of the video up there, but that's because of other things that you see. Mm. Because as soon as there's anything in vision that is uh, supplied, we have to put it up. So, But this is not put up. So for the first time, we're not going to lie about something oh, in a video. Phew. No lies. It's all truth. Pressure's off. Pressure's off. So um, to hear it, uh, we're going through a Mozatronics amp switcher, which is... Let the girt around. <laughs> Uh, bribed to us by Andrew. Yes. And a OTS Mini 20 head and two nice and pitted Captain X doing the Cab Sims IR reverb stuff. And that's sort of a Fender Dumbley kind of clean. Yeah, just pretty, so you know. Very clean. So it some preamp. Yep. Um, it basically is, uh, as as it's in the name, it's based on a Benson mm. amps preamp. The chi Chimera? Chi Chimera? Chimera? 30 mm. uh, preamp. And I think from what they, what they did is they basically recreated the circuit, but instead of using tubes, they put FET uh, transformers in there. Transistors, transformers, transistors. Uh, transistors. Um, transistors in there. Yep. Um, and it sort of became a, a kind of mm. slightly fuzzy, overdrive-y, distortion-y kind of thing. Uh, and then it makes special edition ones like this one with flowers on it, yep. which is the one I got. So uh, let's check it out, shall we? Clean turn on the warm off strat. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us a couple of specs on this? Because people uh, always ask and you never reply. So can you ask, uh, can you so give some specs on the guitar? It's a Strat Ocaster parts guitar from Warmoth. Neck, body, uh, Rio Grande pickups, the hot Texas ones, whatever they're called. Uh, just volume tone. Muy grande? Sure. Is that the muy grande? Um, black Carina body, lovely maple neck, and zebra wood fretboard. It's made out of actual zebras. Should we turn on? Okay, everything. At so we've got four controls. We've got uh, treble and bass. Volume and gain. Everything at 12 o'clock sounds like this. and always on pedal right there. Right. Uh, the EQ is voiced really nice. Isn't the it? treble doesn't go overly trebly and the bass doesn't go overly bassy and when you roll it back it just kind of ever so slightly it's nicely voiced. Very civilised and mature and stuff. And I mean a low gain that's gorgeous even with a strap. Just a little fatten, <laughs> fatten you up kind of poke in the pants. <laughs>
mean, even with everything on full, sounds great. So plane wise, it has a quite a bit of compression. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So it, buzzword, buzzword. It feels very amp like because of that kind of squishiness. The sag maybe is the right word. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Tube sag. That, that's a word. Sa- saggy sags. Yeah, we all have saggy moments. So. <laughs> You want to have a go? I'll have a go. Uh, with the uh, Parts Master Caster, Blaster Master Caster, there's a video for it here. If you want to find out more about it with some fantastic Martin A. Smith pickups, Mastery Bridge and Vibrato, uh, Justin Homer's or Herod uh, custom anodized pickguards. It's an, um, what is it, MJT, Mark, Jan- Mark Jennings? Yeah, MJT body, that's right. Michael and Jackson. a maker, Michael Jackson's. Transformers. Transformers body okay. and um, maker guitar neck. But yeah, check the video. There's always a link in the description below as well. Uh, let's start on a neck pickup with lower gain and clean. It sounds like this. Lovely. Let's do the same sound, but bit, with the bit classy, isn't it? with the um, wide range style humbucker, which is a lot of the mids are like. Ugh! It's on the very first audible sound. Hey, going up. Yeah. T star. Sounds great. Start with everything at 12 o'clock. Oh, this is clean sound.
it's kind of oh, that EQ is pretty damn cool, isn't it? It's a good EQ, yeah, yeah. It just gets slightly different without getting out. But it's just yeah, it's it, boomy or yeah, bad yeah, words. It never goes too far. Nice. Let's try this now. This is the Pure Salem Guitars uh, Cardinal. Cardinal. Uh, in fun black. Humbuckers, but not super high output humbuckers. Hmm. So vintagey vibed humbuckers. Silver ones. Uh, silver ones, and they sound like this. United definition too. Sorry, we're gonna say something. It's a bit fuzzier with the uh, humbuggies. More, more, yeah, yeah. If it's a bit. I mean, we're yeah. pushing the amp a lot because it's quite a bit of volume on tap, but that sounds great. Yeah, it's, it's, sure. I want, it'll do the same with that guitar too, I'd, I'd say. Spank it gets fuzzy. Spanking the Cardinal there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a 79 yeah. SG. Yeah. Roll reversals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put me on the spot now. Uh, uh, attack acoustic, acoustic attack picks or something just like that. Just having a spin of these. Yeah. Just not, playing not, a duck. Not sponsored. Just having a go. Hang on, 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 like a what? Like with with definition. So okay, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. definition. Um, yeah, yeah. To me, it's almost a can't get it wrong. Mm, especially that and, EQ, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it, it you could use it as a as an always on. Yeah. Low gain, you know, you just kind of shape the tone a bit. It it embiggens and fattens and unthinnizes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably if you're using like lots of backline amps like Twins or Hot Rod Deluxe kind of thing. If you're into something very clean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's kind of what we're doing too here. But um, but then any anything even up higher. Um, 
It'd be interesting, mate. We might do another video. Let, let's see, let's see if anyone even watches this video, and if you do, if you want to see this, I reckon pushing it with something. Yeah, yeah comments. Let me know in the comments below. Down below. Uh, pushing it with something, I think, could be interesting. Yeah. Um, kind of, I guess, to a certain degree, how the amp, because it's meant to be a preamp of an amp, mm. how that would react being pushed by drives. Perhaps a two screamer style thing. Or just even just a clean boost. Clean boost, compressor maybe. LPD boost mm. or... Um, oh. Let us know. Comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you want to see that video. This is our first foray um, into the Benson preamp. Maybe we can find some other um, floral related pedals. Ooh. Um, Rosemary, isn't it? That, that's one of the... Yes. Yeah, so we could... Is it lavender? Lavender? Rosemary? Is that rosemary too? I don't know. Lavender? There's a lavender. Oh, yeah, lavender. <laughs> anyway. Um, Back to that. But uh, uh, yes, yes. Would you like to see an all floral... Oh, fancy. Flora-based... Yes. ...thing? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Next below to Facebook, Instagram, podcast. Yeah. Um, any last words? I like it. Yeah. I bought it. Thanks, Jim. You got to hold on to it? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to hold on to it. So, uh, yeah, I bought this off Jim at Deluxe Tone Guitars. Yeah, Check out Deluxe Tone Guitars. I'll put a link down below as well. Uh, he makes some amazing guitars. And if you live in Southeast Queensland and you want some awesome guitar repairing or guitar modding or fixeronizing, he does it. And grammar. Hey, uh, thanks for hanging. <laughs> we'll uh, catch you soon. Bye-bye. See ya.